Hey D Rose gang, it's me, Mama Nancy, and please, please, please be patient, bear with me. This is the video before the highly requested video of Nancy, let me know what she was dancing to. This video is coming first because I honestly feel it's, it's, it's way more important than working out. Now, don't come for me. I do believe, as you saw in the title of the video when I went grocery shopping, weight loss does start in the kitchen. It, it is important to move your body, it is important to work out, but it, it to me, is way more important to create good, healthy eating habits, right? So that's what this video is about today. Like I said, be patient, cause child, I opened up my Facebook. Somebody was waiting there like this. They was they was waiting there like this. Um, I'm still waiting on that that workout videos, and I I I heard the neck roll and the eye roll in that. I heard it in that message. Please don't come for me. I know y'all working out. Y'all getting fit. I don't want no. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I am trying to. I don't know if y'all know it is a family channel i do incorporate my workouts in there so the videos that the kids do and i do and we do together i'm trying to figure it all out right did, oh i did the whoa y'all saw that young people I, didn't I? Uh, I messed it up now but anyway so i'm trying to figure that all out please be patient with me but i feel like this video definitely should come before the video on working out and dancing and all that other stuff, but it is coming. I heard you. I don't want no problems. Now, let's roll the intro. So, like I said before, I believe that weight loss does start in the kitchen. And I, I could say that it is real in my life because that is how I started. I started by changing my eating habits. Um, I believe it was on Instagram that I found it. It was like, you know, know this for, uh, I don't remember. I think it was like January. It definitely was January when I started my weight loss journey. But it was like something for the whole 30 days, know this, know that, know this, know that. And I, I, I was like, okay, challenge accepted. Now, um, y'all probably saw it on Instagram too. There was no soda, no soda. Why? Because soda is unnecessary calories. It's unnecessary calories. And I believe it's every, uh, don't quote me. It's either every 1000 or every 10,000 calories equal a pound, either one of those. So it's like, you know what I mean? Weight loss uh, happens when you you burn more calories than you ingest. So if you're drinking it, you're eating it, and you're not working to burn that and plus off, then you're really not losing anything. So it's about calorie deficit, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all probably know all of this anyway, so let me keep it moving. I felt I love soda. I love soda. I love McDonald's. And I got to have Mountain, uh, not Mountain Dew, Sprite. Sprite. Who? Is it just me? They put something extra in McDonald's Sprite. That Sprite be tasting extra, extra good. It be tasting so good. So I was like, okay, no Sprite. No fast food. No fried food. Um, I started, you know, restricting carbs i'm not saying that i don't do them um like i said in the video before i had clams i was gonna make clam chowder for the kids and you know i put potatoes in there and sometimes i add it in mine you know what i mean so i i am that that's how i do it i'm not um opposed to carbs i don't go by any title i'm not um keto <laughs> i had a brain fart but i'm not keto i'm not this i'm not paleo i'm not i'm not whole 30 i'm not nothing i am just switching things up somebody just asked me you know are you trying to go to veganism and vegetarian listen i just keep it funky i like to switch things up i think you know what i mean it keeps me and my body 
on our toes. So that's what I started doing. I started making little changes. Little changes add, it adds up. Like say for instance, I have somebody that just said, listen, I gave up soda and I gave up like, you know, a bunch of sugar in my coffee. That is awesome. That is awesome. And I promise you, you're going to see a difference. It, it's about slowly. This is not a race changing your lifestyle. It's about, you know, Hey, I'm going to give up this and I'm going to start doing this little by little stay with it for a week, two, three, and then just move on, graduate to bigger things. And that's how it happened. It happened very slowly, uh, for me. I did hear somebody say about like being restrictive, like you shouldn't have to, you know what I mean? Restrict yourself from this and that and this. I, I don't look at it like that. I mean, we're, we're, if you're watching this video nine times out of 10, maybe you, you are on a journey. You're struggling with your weight. You would like to start a journey. I don't want nobody to look at, okay, why are, why do you fast? Why are you eating raw food? You know what I mean? Last, last night I had, everything was raw. I'm on a five day raw vegan diet. Why? Why are you restricting yourself from bread and, and sweets and, and cheat meals and this, that, and third. Listen, this is, this is just me. Everything I say is concerning just me. I'm not no doctor. I'm not certified in nothing. This is just my journey. So the way I look at it, we struggle with our weight. We struggle with an addiction to food, overeating, whatever. And it is, it is about discipline. I don't think it's about restriction. That's just my opinion. I'm going to keep on saying that. I think it's about discipline. I think it's about discipline where yesterday my kids was eating lovely. <laughs> I had to make two separate meals because, you know, certain things I will take them on a journey with me. Certain things, no, baby. So they were eating lovely. And um, it's about discipline. It's about knowing what you want in the long run. This is what I want in the long run. These are the goals that I want to achieve. So I'm going to sacrifice and I am going to, you know what I mean? Adjust things so that I can reach it. Yes. I want that piece of chicken that you was eating yesterday. It looked good. It looked really, really good. But on the flip side, I know my goals and it's like, I need to be disciplined and I'm going to start, you know, teaching myself, my body, how to be disciplined with my food, because that's another thing. I don't want to be a slave to food. I don't want to be a slave to my stomach. You succumb to me. That that's the way I see it. So, uh, for the new year, I did the liquid diet. It tastes good. You know what I mean? Afterwards, I, I, I like I said, I cook for my kids. If they're, uh, last week we had tomato soup. We had, uh, ooh, what is that? I know carrot, ginger, and butternut squash. There it goes. Butternut squash soup. And, you know, we had different things. There are certain days they, you know, I know I had that kale with the spinach and they were like, I don't want that. So they had to eat real food. They had to eat, you know, chicken or whatever they ate for that day, spaghetti, whatever they ate for that day, they ate it. And I want to chew, I want to chew the chicken. I like chicken. So, um, you know, it, it's disciplining yourself and it, it helps so much because like I said, when I go out with my mom or I'm out with the kids and they're eating whatever, I'm good because I am disciplined. I am disciplined enough to know I want it. I can't have it because it goes against what I'm doing with my goal. Another thing I have to tell myself, you know, when I eat the, well, drink the liquid diet or the, the raw vegan diet and I find myself hungry, I know that I gave you food body. Mm -mm, you ain't gonna do that. Not today. I, I just like, I would talk to my kids. Sometimes you got to talk to, uh, 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 not today. Um, you ate, you ate good. You had this, you have that, you got water. Shut up. You know what I mean? And I put my body in a corner, my little tummy in a corner. I know I fed you. You're good. Sometimes we eat because we're bored. Sometimes we eat out of habit. I learned that when I started fasting. So let me jump to fasting. I started, I heard about intermittent fasting through a friend. He sent me, 
um, some YouTube links and by now everybody knows about it. I was the last person probably that didn't know about it. I had to watch the YouTube videos and it's just like you go to sleep at eight, you wake up at eight, you just fasted for 12 whole hours. Way to go. You're awesome. It's just taking a period of time where you give your stomach rest. You don't eat. I started out with 12 hour, soon graduated to 24 hour. And you might want to grab a chair. You might want to grab a seat. I don't want you to fall out on account of Mama Nancy. I ended up uh, fasting for 72 hours. That is part of something that I've learned called the autophagy fast. We'll talk about that later. Because I want to backtrack to something quick fast. Uh, and it, it has something to do with the autophagy fast. Everything I do, I research. Everything I put in my mouth. At that point, I was a diabetic. I had high blood pressure. I had cholesterol issues. I had different types of ailments. I hope you watched the video. But that's, that's what that was about. So I would Google, I got the autoimmune inflammatory disease. I would Google what is good for inflammation. And, and they say this, and I would make sure I have all of that. I buy it. I, I use it. You buy healthy food going back to the video about me. What, what, what did I buy from the grocery store? What did I buy for Walmart? The healthy foods. If you buy it, you will eat it because you ain't got nothing else to eat. You buy the Twinkie, you go eat the Twinkie. You buy the spinach, you're going to eat the spinach because what the hell else are you going to eat? So it's like, I feel like that definitely starts at the grocery store. It starts in the kitchen. It's, it's, you know, making healthy choices, making healthy decisions. So now back to the research. Research, I research everything. So now, you know... This is good for inflammation. I go to the store, I buy it, I stock up on it, and then I use it in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, this is good for high blood pressure. This is good for diabetes. Boom, 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 so on and so forth. I researched everything prior to putting it in my system. I say all that to say before I started fasting, I did my research. Before I started doing the 72-hour fast, I did my research and it's something called autophagy fast. You can look that up on YouTube. There's a doctor that, you know, goes really in depth with that. And it had medical benefits. That's what I took from the research that I did. It has medical benefits, um, as I don't want to say as opposed to weight loss. Cause if you're not eating for freaking 72 hours, shit. <laughs> you understand you're definitely burning way more calories than you intake so of course there is weight loss when I fast I drink water um, usually I have water with lemon and cucumber but when I fast there's no lemon and cucumber there's just water and then tea herbal teas herbal teas no sugar no cream I just drink when I first started that <laughs> Oh, when I first started that, I was such a bitch. I was such a because I'm hungry. I was a walking snicker commercial. You know what I mean? Feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. I was hungry. I was hungry, hungry. And oh, I was such an asshole. But I realized that, and I, I feel like this is kind of a myth busters, you know, type of thing. When they say mind over matter, that is not a myth. It is so very true because when I first started, I'd get so grumpy. I want to eat. Everybody's eating around me. I'm looking at y'all and y'all delicious food. I'm hating y'all secretly. I hope you drop it. And I felt some type of way. I'm hungry. I'm like, I feel my stomach talking to me as they say. So I would keep busy. That that's, that's what I learned. I learned to keep busy. Around that time, I would get on the internet. I would get, <laughs> don't get on the internet when you're fasting, especially around lunch or dinner time. Cause now you scrolling through feeds. And if you're, you have a weight loss page, um, on Instagram, like I have one, everybody posts their food during lunch and dinner time. So now I'm scrolling through all y'all beautiful, delicious, healthy food that I could be eating. And, 
And I'm sitting here fasting. Thankfully, you would run into somebody that's on the journey with you. Y'all fasting together. You're like, yes, sister. Yes, brother. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Let's let's be hungry together. I would actually take naps. <laughs> I would take naps. I would go for walks. I would work out. And after a while, believe it or not, it does get easier. That's the fasting. The fasting... Um, <clears throat> And every time I fast and I do the 72 hour fast, I feel compelled to share with my Instagram fitness people the, the timeline of what happens to your body where, when you're fasting and I'm going to insert that all up in here. Somewhere in here, I'm gonna insert that so that y'all could see, read, what happens you know what i mean um the the blood sugar the just who child the paper could explain it better than i can hopefully it's still up here somewhere around here i feel like research i feel like thinking of a master plan is very important we talked about why you want to lose weight so that you could dig into that bag when it's time now we're talking about planning planning what you're gonna go grocery shopping, you know, your grocery, where's your grocery list, what it's looking like, you know what I mean? Um, are you gonna get into fasting? Or are you not gonna get into fasting? What is your medical conditions and ailments that you wanna work on? Why don't you pull up Google and say, hey, what's good for, I heard somebody said they had arthritis um, this morning. What's good for arthritis? Look, there are so many natural remedies I am all for all natural. Listen, sometimes, you know, I'll dip back into whatever, but I'm still trying to progress and make changes into an all natural lifestyle. So Google it, Google it. What's good for blood sugar? Google that. High blood pressure. Like I said, any autoimmune inflammatory disease, there has to be something out there that you can incorporate into your diet that can help you. So. That's that. My fasting app, somebody asked, what app do I use for fasting? Because I do document it in my IG fitness page. And it is called Zero. It is called Zero. Z-E-R-O. Zero is the fasting app that I use. So, enjoy. Also, I'm just trying to throw everything that's in my mind at you right now. If the video is all over the place, I do apologize, but I feel this is information that I want to get out to you. Um, I am thinking about starting one, and I hope I have all of your support. Honestly, all of your support. I'm going to do another video about this when it's time. Probably going to do it when I reach my weight loss goal because I'm so very, very, very close. Pause. I'm so close, right? That's where we left off. My weight loss goal and this diet bit. I said it out loud, so I make sure I remember. I went to the doctor with my mom the other day. I went to her doctor because she wasn't feeling well. I brought her to the doctor. I'm in the doctor's office with mama. Her doctor comes in. I know this doctor from since I was here, taking up the whole chair since I was there, right? And now I, I have, you know, slimmed down. And he, he looks at me and says, well, mm, you, need a, you need to not lose too much weight. Yeah, <laughs> um, like I said, I definitely do a lot of research before I do anything. So before I said, this is what I want to go down to, I did my research. I mean, Google is your best friend. Books are your best friend. Talking to people could be your best friend, but I do my research now let's get back to where I was, which was when I reached my weight loss goal, I would like to start a diet bet. Now, the reason I like diet bet, now the video turned into the apps that I use uh, for my weight loss. Yeah, okay, let's go. So diet bet, if you haven't heard of diet bet, <laughs> You're like me. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know nothing about no diet bet until I joined the weight loss community on Instagram. And what it is 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 exactly what it sounds like. Diet bet. So you put up your money, and um, I believe the ones that last one month, you have to lose four percent of your body weight. I like it. 
I like it because I said this before and I'll say it again. I'm cheap and cheap people don't like to lose money. So now I'm going to make sure that I succeed at winning this diet bet. What happens is everybody that reaches that goal split the pot. It's not one person that walks away with everything. Everybody that reaches the goal splits the money up. So I felt like I needed to explain, but I think you get, I did my first diet bet for my six month anniversary. Um, I had lost a hundred pounds. Yeah. I'll put the video up somewhere, but I had lost a hundred pounds and I wanted to celebrate. I wanted to celebrate. Like I couldn't figure out how do you want to celebrate your birthday? And I wanted to celebrate my birthday by getting everybody in together and let's lose these 4% of our, our, of our body weight, our body fat. I don't even remember together. Let's do this together. I couldn't find no better way to celebrate than creating my own diet bed. You don't want to lose money. And I feel like it's incentive. It motivates you. Anything you could find to motivate you to keep on going, grab it, get it, run with it. I know there's a step bet. I haven't tried that yet, but you can look into it. It's called step bet. And I guess it's how many steps you take. You put your money where your mouth is and you, you get the step in literally. So I'm going to, I have thoughts of doing that very soon when I reach my weight loss goal. Very, very soon, very soon. Multivitamins. I definitely do take vitamins when I fast. Um, certain times during the week, I do take one a day. I do take one a day, um, but I feel like I don't need to. I feel like I don't need to because I really try to eat very, very well. I really try to get my nutrients, my vitamins, my minerals from food, from herbs from whatever. I try to keep myself very well nourished through food as opposed through supplements and vitamins and minerals in a capsule. But when I do fast, I need vitamins. You know what I mean? I need minerals. So I will take like a one a day uh, vitamin for that. I think that's it. I really wanted to stress the fact that what you eat is very important. What you buy to bring home is what you eat and what you eat is very important for this weight loss journey. So I wanted to definitely share that with you before I put out the soca music and the Afro beat and there's other people that I, I need you, that I need you and I promise you, you're gonna be in my comments thanking me, oh my God, Nancy, oh my God. Listen, there's this woman that made me, made me feel all sexy. You understand, when I did her workout, she gave me my, she gave me my back. Yes, she did, she gave, I didn't even know I had it, but she gave it back to me. So I need you to have her. I need you to do her workouts. I need you to dance with her. She is awesome. I actually met her in person. Child, I was crying. It's so sad and crazy, but I was, I was, I was boo, I was boohooing. So I need you to meet her. I need you to follow her. I need you to do her workouts. I need you to come back and be like, girl, you was right. I got my back too. And I didn't even know I lost it. So yeah, I felt like that was important for me to share with y'all. Now, let me say this. Thank you so very much. Thank you so, so, so very much. I don't know what to say. When I started this YouTube, you know, you know, in the back of your head where it can go, but I kept on saying, if this goes nowhere, then at least I have memories that I created along with my family, memories I created with my children. And, and, that's, and that's that. And all of a sudden, it started taking off. I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready, child, I wasn't ready. Cause there's like over a thousand comments in, in my weight loss video. And I feel like y'all took the time to comment I really should take the time to respond to everybody because everybody's saying something different. I feel like I got a marriage proposal in one of the comments. The answer is yes, honey. The answer is yes. But there are people 
you know, asking me for advice and opinions and, 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 and thanking me. And I want to be able to respond to everybody individual. There was, there was one young lady that her story sounds so similar to mine and it really touched my heart. And I just want to say, you can do it. All of you can do it. I believe in you. I had Mama D Rose, my mama, I had Mama D Rose that was supporting me, that believed in me, that was rooting for me, that was pushing. I'm that person for you if you need it. Hit me up in my Instagram fitness. They will tell you I do answer back. Anybody that messaged me on Instagram and Facebook, I do answer back. YouTube, I don't know, there's a thousand comments. I'm like, oh my God. And I wanna answer everybody back. Um, I really want to say thank you. Thank you for sharing because I just got back the al analytics uh, for the month that just passed. Y'all out there sharing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And, and you're sharing to somebody that can be motivated and inspired by somebody that just honestly started a journey so that you know she could live happily with her family so she could walk around i didn't even tell y'all i had this condition i never went to the doctor i did go to the doctor but they never gave me no answers let me put it like that so i went to the doctor because and if anybody knows what it is tell me because i kind of want to put a name to this funky ass thing that i had so i would be braiding one of the girls here, I got a couple of girls. So I would be braiding Jessica, Jennifer, or Jamie's hair, and then my hands would lock up. Yes, I did look up carpal tunnel, but it didn't seem like what I was going through. At that point, Jennifer had to, and just until everything would subside. I feel like it was a side effect from the prednisone. What scared me, is when it started happening to the foot. So now mind y'all, y'all remember I told y'all that I had the flashes of light and I would go temporarily blind for like a couple of seconds. I didn't want to drive anymore. So now when my feet and it would just like that and the to my toes would my toes were throwing up gang signs. Not cute. I got cute little feet. I got cute little feet. But then when they would distort like this and this toe would be like that and it would look like I'm set tripping up in here. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to drive because I couldn't feel my foot at that time. It felt really numb and it, it was like a sharp pain and numbness at the same time, if that makes sense. And Jennifer, I keep on naming Jennifer. Jennifer is my little doctor. I love her so much. Shout out to you, Jennifer. But she would like really just, you know, and try to... God is good all the time, all the time. I don't know how we got here, but I'm glad we made it. And I'm going to thank y'all again and again and again and again and again. And I'm going to get to respond to everybody and continue to like, comment, share, subscribe. See you on the flip side. Peace. Oh, while I'm here, let me dance for y'all one time for the one time. That's right. Tune in next time. Y'all going to get the YouTube videos. Y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get it now. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Weight loss starts in the kitchen. It is important what you put in your body. I don't care how many Zumba, how many Soka Fitness, how many freaking Afro beat music, dance workouts you do. I do not care. If you're feeding yourself shit, then none of it means shit. So this is the raw vegan diet. As you can see, I got lettuce, kale, cabbage, onions, olives, tomatoes, avocados. Did I say carrots? I know there's like broccoli stalk shreds in there as well. And here, what do I got? I got beets, carrots, oranges, and cranberries and water. All right. So thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Maybe if I move the chair up, I look bigger. Because, uh-uh. Hold on. Uh-uh.
I can't be short in real life and on camera too. Yeah, I, I look so little. <laughs> this is so stupid. Ugh.